on peut dire, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. On... The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. Once again, the floor is given to Judge Cartwright to continue Et putting questions to Madame this expert. You may proceed. Pour Thank you, President. Uh, while the uh, Central Committee was established by statute, the Standing Committee was in fact not. Is that your understanding of the uh, situation? The Standing Committee, I'm sure, had a statutory existence. Uh, whether it is referred to in the statutes you just quoted, the 1975 statutes, uh, I'm not sure. But the Standing Committee certainly existed from uh, a very early stage of the UK, uh, after the 1963 Congress. Les after the 1960 Congress, uh, Congress, since that time, there has always been a central body, a very small central body, which determined policy. Uh, uh, entité, uh, uh, and um, central, after uh, April 1975 uh, and the establishment of the, the uh, new uh, version of the Standing Committee, uh, uh, who was the... Um, chair or president of it. Qui en était le président? The secretary of the standing committee Réponse. has been, had been Pol Pot, uh, Salazar, uh, since Salazar. 1963. Depuis 1963. Uh, he later became secretary of the party. Il est devenu secrétaire there is a distinction parti. between being il head of the standing committee and head of the whole party. Uh, Nguyen uh, Chia uh, was, du parti. again from 1963, the de mille, number two, the deputy secretary. And both were members of the standing committee. I'm talking post-1975. Both before and after 1975, they held the same positions. They were members of the standing committee. Uh, in a paper that has been put before the um, chamber by Craig Etchison, uh, titled Overview of Hierarchy of Democratic Kampuchea, E3-494, the author states that the Standing Committee was known also as the Centre or the Organisation and that it operated from an office called Office 870. Do you agree with that? I agree with it partly. Uh, the organization, uh, literally ANCA, was the term used for uh, the Khmer Communist Party as a whole by its members, especially in the early period when it was in clandestinity. And it then became uh, the name by which the population knew the Cambodian Communist Party. Um, 870, yes, was the code name for the In his uh, statement to the co-investigating judges, Kyo Sampon says, in principle, the Central Committee was the most important body, but in practice, it was the Standing Committee. We can compare this to the Parliament and the government in a parliamentary regime. It is the government that conducts the day-to-day -day business of the state. Therefore, the Central Committee did not have effective power as opposed to the Standing Committee. Do you agree with that statement of Kyo Sampan? Êtes-vous d'accord avec cette déclaration de Kyo Sampan? Yes. With the one proviso that in a parlementary system, a parlement controls, exercises control over government. In the Khmer Rouge regime, the Central Committee did not exercise control over the Standing Committee. 
Are you familiar with the role and functions of uh, the Standing Committee? And I'll just ask you some questions uh, and you can agree or not. First, did the Standing Committee have the power to appoint senior officials to the party, the government and the military? Uh, and did it have the power of monitoring and implementation of CPK policies? La mise en des du PCK. It had those powers, Réponse. certainly, whether it exercised them Il in a systematic way, pouvoirs, and I'm thinking of monitoring and si uh, verifying, uh, uh, that is a different matter. De surveillance et de vérification, ça autre chose. In the Question. minutes of 9 October, the Standing Committee minutes of 9 October 1975, E3-182, uh, uh, a meeting that both Kyosan Pon and Nguyen Chia are recorded as attending, it was resolved that in bringing up projects, we must ask the Standing Committee's opinion so it may decide and approve them. Uh, the minutes also record that while all the work should not be concentrated at the Standing Committee, it will monitor each section's implementation of the line and receive reports from all those responsible for the various aspects of government uh, and the military. Uh, does that um, reflect reasonably well, subject to the caveat you just gave, the uh, functions of the Standing Committee and its particular role in relation to those uh, bodies and uh, parts of the country, such as the zones and the districts under it? Yes. Réponse, oui. The um, Standing Committee also required in these minutes uh, that each person who had been given responsibility for an area of work and operations, uh, for example, Nguyen Chia, uh, party affairs and uh, state, and Kyo Son Pon, the front, the royal government and commerce, must report to the standing committee. Does that reflect your uh, knowledge of the relationship between the members of the standing committee with each other? entre les différents membres du comité permanent. That is quite a difficult question. Réponse. I'm, I'm not trying to avoid a clear answer. Um, pas I don't think anyone, except those who are actually je members of the standing committee, is in a position to say quite permanent. how they interacted. Ne uh, dire exactement I can't les interactions see entre uh, Nguyen Chia reporting to Je his colleagues on his own work. He was at a, if you like, a higher travail. level as deputy secretary. Se um, secretary basically, adjoint. he and Paul Pot divided Avec responsibility Pot, for all uh, aspects of work between the two of them. That other members would, would report, uh, essentially, when there was a standing committee meeting, uh, uh, Pond, le comité the, permanent the, 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 other members would report ou at the standing committee, but to Paul Pot and to some extent to Nguyen Chia. So it wasn't um, Pot, et dans among equals, mesure, there was a definite hierarchical structure. Returning briefly to the statute, um, the Revolutionary Army was uh, specifically uh, referred to in the statute uh, and uh, was stated to be under the absolute leadership mono monopoly of the CPK. Uh, did it also uh, report to the Standing Committee? Yes, commanders uh, in the, the zone leaders and uh, zone military commanders would send telegrams to 870. That would be the destination. Uh, the um, other branch of a government uh, as uh, the 
Western democratic un understands it to be is the Notre judiciary. Uh, there was no mention of a judiciary et, uh, in the statute that we've been discussing, but in a press release uh, issued by the People's statut, Representative Assembly on the 14th of April 1975, E3-262 uh, on the 1970, final page, this was the complete mention of the judiciary. After in-depth discussion, the Assembly appointed a judiciary committee whose president is Kang Chap, and that's the end of the statement. Did you ever discuss the establishment of this committee, or indeed an independent judicial system or a judicial system of any description with uh, any of your interviewees? To the best of my recollection, no, for one reason, there was no judiciary or judicial system in Cambodia, in Peru's Cambodia. Therefore, there seemed no point in raising it. It never existed. Je ne voyais pas l'intérêt de poser la question, car ceci n'a jamais existé. Now, the various organs that I have Question. mentioned, uh, very briefly, the um, General Conference organes, or People's Congress, le, le Congrès uh, Peuple, the Central Committee, le General, the Army, le Central, the Judiciary, um, et, uh, where was the real uh, organization of the work Bien. of the democratic Cambodian regime conducted within any of those organs, excepting the Judiciary, which you've already uh, mentioned? de l'une quelconque de ces organes à l'exception bien sûr du système judiciaire que vous avez déjà mentionné. The, the army was controlled by the defense ministry that is by the defense minister Son Sen, de la défense, uh, who le ministre de la défense est Son Sen qui n'était pas membre titulaire member of the standing mais committee. membre suppléant du comité permanent. Um, the, the, there is a real problem uh, as to whether there was any independent decision-making power within government, si, uh, within what we would describe uh, as a council of ministers. A council of ministers was said to have existed. People were designated as this minister or that minister. But my understanding, and it can only be an understanding, is that all the decision-making power resided in the party structure, in other words, the standing committee. And the government uh, although uh, ministries existed, some more than si, uh, others, uh, basically was a transmission belt with no authority. Uh, 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 now I want to return to Kyo Sampan and then Nguyen Chia and look Question, at their roles in relation to these bodies and structures. Par à ces um, ces in, by uh, 1975, uh, or rather 1976, uh, he had already been appointed to some roles, formal roles, in the democratic Kampuchean regime. Um, for example, in the um, minutes of the 30th of March 1976, uh, that is of the Standing Committee, E3 stroke 12, which is titled Decision of the Central Committee regarding a number of matters. He was noted as appointed uh, as being president of the state presidium of Democratic Kampuchea. Uh, in effect, was that now the formal acknowledgement of his title as um, head of state? Yes, it was. He was uh, a candidate member of the Central Committee, as you have indicated, but became a full member of the Central Committee from 1976. Um, uh, does that, uh, is that a fair summary of your knowledge of his role in the Central Committee? compréhension du rôle qu'il jouait au sein du comité central. Yes, his, uh, as I understood it, his promotion to full membership 
was in parallel to the decision to appoint him head of state. Now, he has said uh, consistently that he was not appointed to the Standing Committee, um, but none of the minutes of the Standing Committee that record his attention, uh, attendance make any distinction uh, in this regard. Are you able to shed any light on his formal position within the Standing Committee? I'm not. Uh, except to say that I have never seen any document, nor have I interviewed anyone who affirmed or which stated that Kyusampon was a member of the Standing Committee. His presence is absolutely certain, and in a way follows naturally enough from the role he had earlier, Et which was to accompany the top leadership, son, uh, to, become, to be a sort of amanuensis, and um, uh, therefore to attend standing committee uh, meetings after 1975. Uh, le, le I could not say that he had the decision-making role that a full member of the standing committee would have had. I don't think he was a full member. And the reason he was, after all, an intellectual. He, his path into the party was not the path taken by the former Israq warlords who became the zone commanders, and it was not the path taken by Pol Pot and Yang Sari and Nguyen Chia, the, 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 the guiding core of the standing committee, so that he had this, I won't say peripheral role, but a, a different kind of role uh, is understandable. I want to look at what he says of his uh, roles during the period we're concerned with, uh, and um, going back to his um, monograph, E318, uh, E3 uh, E3 stroke 18, he says um, uh, English 001073749. Uh, Khmer 0010 03837 and French 00595426 that uh, neither he, Hunim, or Hu Yuan led any forces. He says, and I quote, we were only the figureheads of the Khmer Rouge movement and had no role in the movement's leadership or in key decisions. When you um, discussed, uh, uh, when you interviewed him, did you, did you talk to him about what he perceived his role as and what uh, the membership, or at least the attendance at the Standing Committee and membership of the Central Committee uh, might indicate to the contrary. I have no recollection of, of having discussed with him specifically the question of attendance at Standing Committee meetings. I mean, certainly he said he was not a member. Uh, he used to me terms very similar to those you have just Il a employé des termes similaires à ce que vous venez de Hunim, citer, Huyun, and que lui-même, Hunim et Yu Yun, uh, étaient des I think figures it's de absolutely true that none of them had any military command responsibilities. Je pense qu'il est vrai de dire qu'aucun d'entre eux n'avait des responsabilités militaires. Uh, Quant au rôle qu'ils jouaient dans uh, la prise de décision, je pense que... Uh, there is a question a little bit later on, which perhaps you will come to, tard, as to what his role in, uh, in the general office of the Standing Committee was. But again, we're not talking about permanent. a decision-making role. Fois, we would be talking about an executive role. Uh, mais plutôt role executive. 
Well, uh, I presume you're referring to his position within the organization Office 870, um, and, and he says in that same monograph, I was responsible for relations with the prince and his wife and for establishing a price scale for products from the cooperatives and other economic units. He was also responsible for implementing the permanent committee's decisions, and from that I'm Standing Committee regarding the distribution of products collected in Phnom Penh to different zones and regions and working with the Department of Foreign Trade to ensure the importation of specific goods. This tends to suggest that he had a very narrow area of responsibility and that membership of the Central Committee and at least attendance at uh, many of the uh, standing committee meetings was uh, of no significance in regard to his particular role. Do you agree or not? In terms of the role he played, are you in agreement with this interpretation? I don't agree with the words of no significance. Uh, the very fact of attending standing committee meetings uh, uh, de dire que cela is peu. itself significant. This was a very small group of people. Uh, if you were there during important. their discussions, that gave you a certain power. Uh, not necessarily the power to influence those decisions, but pouvoir, at least you were among a very, very small group which knew what was going on. Um, and I didn't, when I referred to the general office, I did not mean 870. Je ne faisais pas référence au bureau 870, qui uh, est la même chose que le comité permanent. Il y avait un bureau général dirigé à l'origine par Dôme, où Kyosampan uh, a joué like un rôle par la suite. C'était la branche exécutive there, du bureau 870. Well, say, Et je pense que là, il avait un rôle uh, exécutif. Avait-il un rôle décisionnaire C'est difficile de dire. Uh, I want to take you Question. to uh, a selection of the surviving minutes of the uh, Standing Committee uh, and just uh, very briefly summarize the topics that were discussed at each of these meetings uh, and each um, record that both Kyosampon and Nguyen Chia attended. Uh, I'm going to deal first with the minutes of the 8th of March 1976, E3-231, uh, concerning propaganda. So that was the topic discussed at that meeting. Uh, a further meeting on the same day, E3-232, uh, on base work. And uh, during that meeting, Kyosampan reported on issues around the election and methods of propaganda and education. 11th of March 1976, E3-197, again attended by both Nguyen Chia and Kyosampan, when uh, Prince Sihanouk's resignation was discussed and Kyosampan reported on the Prince's views. At that time, there was a direction by the Comrade Secretary, or Pol Pot, that Prince Sihanouk was not to leave the country. Uh, uh, he was to be kept as a dignitary, but that he should not uh, be killed. Um, a further meeting on the same day, 11th of March, E3-217, where there was a discussion of the resolution of border conflicts and of the approach if Vietnam committed aggression against democratic Kampuchea on the eastern border. Uh, discussing both defense and attack on Vietnam as political measures uh, and also discussing ongoing negotiations over the border. 13th of March, 3 stroke 234, again both were present, uh, and that was a, a discussion of commerce and contacts with China uh, and the forming of a delegation seeking to make purchases from uh, China. 
Now, all of those meetings indicate that a very wide range of uh, military, economic, diplomatic, uh, political matters were discussed, uh, and that uh, both, as both Nguyen Chia and Khieu Son Pon were present. Uh, do you have anything to say about the level of knowledge and engagement that both might have had, uh, or particularly knowledge that both might have had about the ongoing conduct of the affairs of democratic Kampuchea? I would repeat what I said a little earlier, that is that the very fact of being at the Standing Committee gave knowledge which, which was extraordinary because so few people had it. What we don't know is what, what input Qusantan had at those meetings on these individual issues. The, uh, the minutes of the meeting on base work on the 8th of March 1976, it says uh, that Comrade Hem, Hem reported on, as you said, education and propaganda and indeed methods of election. Uh, I think that was certainly one of his fields. Uh, education and propaganda generally, not just in relation to the, uh, the elections. And there are quite well attested um, uh, evidence or witnesses who, who have described being at seminars long seminars at the Olympic Stadium and elsewhere, uh, in which Kusan Pan um, gave them ideological training guidance. So that, I think, was one of his fields. The military questions, um, the, the whole problem of border incursions with Vietnam, I, I, again, I have absolutely no evidence that he uh, had an important role in that. He was there, he listened, he, he had knowledge, but I doubt écouté, very much that he had a great deal to say. Courant, mais and it, it might just be worth mentioning that insofar as I've had any evidence of how the Standing Committee works, Pol Pot would chair the meetings, he would ask people's Paul opinions on key issues, and then at the end he would set out the policy which he had from the start wanted to follow, incorporating some of the remarks that had been made around the table. That was his modus operandi. And uh, I think the key thing is that he would incorporate others' remarks, but the policy which emerged was that which he had essentially decided himself before the meeting even began. There was another meeting, but this time of the Central Committee on the 30th of March 1976. Uh, no uh, record, we have no record of who attended that meeting. Uh, it has the document number E3-12. At that time, however, Khieu Son Pon was either a candidate à member of the Central Son Committee or a full rights member, according to your um, uh, testimony. And of course, Nguyen Chia was a full member of the Central Committee. Now, this was the occasion when um, the now familiar uh, right uh, to smash inside and outside the ranks was formulated. À et à uh, among the bodies entitled to smash were the zone standing committees and the central office committee, les, uh, um, de zone uh, of which both he and both Kyo Sampan and Nguyen Chia were members, uh, uh, the standing committee membre. and general staff. Et, uh, now, do you think it's possible uh, that um, Either man was unfamiliar with those uh, decisions made or uh, recorded at that meeting on that occasion. I'm sure they were both familiar with that, that, that decision. Um, I, I'm not at all sure, in fact I doubt, 
that je although it says decision fait, of the Central Committee, uh, si I don't think there was a Central Committee meeting which took central, that decision. That terminology could equally apply to uh, a decision issued by the Standing Committee. Um, but I'm quite sure that both Mr. Kuzon-Pan and certainly Mr. Nunchia uh, were very well aware of what was in this document. Kuzon-Pan and Nunchia's uh, relationship uh, be, uh, outside of these uh, meetings, are you able to comment at all on that? Did they? Um, uh, are you, are you aware of whether they respected each other, worked together? Do you have any comments? I think all I can say is there is evidence that uh, uh, Pol Pot thought highly of Kusampan, and I can't Kyo remember Sampan. the exact document or speech, but he was one of those. Discours, I think perhaps Nguyen Chia was the other who, whom he singled out, and it was something he very rarely did. Um, the relationship between Kusampan and Nguyen Chia, I have no privileged information on. Je pas According to Etchison, um, there were Question. offices Etchison, that operated under Office 870, all with the, um, the prefix K, uh, and Pol Pot was said to live and work K at K1, uh, and Nguyen Chia and Kyo Sam Pan both lived at K3. Does that accord with your knowledge? Not entirely, no. Um, Pol non, Pot had entièrement. three main residences that, least, that I know of in, in uh, Phnom Penh. And, and the one in which they lived, and Kyo Sampan was there, Von Vett was there, Nguyen Chia was there, was the, in the so-called bank buildings Von at Vett, the forearms of, uh, of, of the, the river. Kyo um, that, that became the main permanent headquarters. C <laughs> there, there was another one, which is that whole principal. block where Lucky Supermarket now is. That was another, another residence, and there was a third residence further out. But are you saying that uh, all, these, all these well-known names from Pol Pot through Vaughan Vett came from the Lucky Supermarket and all these well-known names from Pol Pot through Vaughan Vett, Kyo Sampan and Nguyen Chia, all operated, working and living together very much in in company with each other. Et vivaient les uns aux côtés des autres? Yes. Réponse, oui. Now, I want to turn to Nguyen Chia, uh, who, he, who has himself confirmed his lengthy involvement with the Communist Party of, its ca of Kampuchea and its predecessors, uh, and also that since 1960 he was appointed Deputy Secretary of the Party, uh, a position that continued through the DK era. Uh, that uh, complies with your knowledge, does it? nommé secrétaire adjoint du Parti et qu'il est resté sous Absolutely. le Comité démocratique. Est-ce que cela cadre His avec ce que vous savez Réponse, oui. Il était donc secrétaire adjoint du Parti. Vous avez déjà parlé dans un certain degré. Si je peux résumer, il était très impliqué dans la lutte contre le communisme. Il était déjà impliqué dans la lutte contre le communisme. Est-ce que c'est une summary ou est-ce que c'est overstating la position Il se situait juste En dessous de Pol Pot. I think it's a fair summary. Uh, que it's, un bon it's very difficult Réponse. to oui. grasp that exact relationship Il est difficile between Pol Pot de and Nguyen Chia. Um, entre Pol Pot I, I et remember Chia. suggesting to some former Khmer Rouge officials that Nguyen Chia was the manager Khmer Rouge, and Pol Pot was the, like, the, you know, the, the director. Était and they said no, et Pol Pot it wasn't that clear cut. Non. It was perhaps closer to an alter ego. They occupied, they, they both took an interest in and uh, responsibility for the same thing in many cases. So it was difficult, very difficult to know where um, the influence of one and the influence of the other started and ended.
de savoir uh, and, um, ce qu'il en est de l'influence de l'un et de l'autre. Nous savons qu'il a passé due to Nguyen Chia's own statements on this topic, as to whether in fact he was acting Prime Minister uh, at some stage, si as alleged in the closing order in paragraph 888. Do you have any knowledge about that? Occuper les fonctions de Premier ministre, comme indiqué dans l'ordonnance de Cantu, au paragraphe 880. Réponse. J'en traite dans mon livre. Non, je ne pense pas qu'il ait été Premier ministre par intérim. Je pense que les deux en étaient convenus. Il s'agissait de brouiller les pistes pour les Vietnamiens. Pol Pot et Yang Sari ont disparu. Les Vietnamiens en étaient très contents, mais en réalité, l'appareil de direction restait très soudé. Certes, il a été annoncé que Pol Pot abandonnait son poste de Premier ministre, mais dans les faits, cela ne s'est pas passé. Question. Uh, roles as deputy secretary of the party, en tant que uh, membership adjoint of du parti, the central committee, en tant que membre uh, and, um, du comité uh, central, also of the standing committee and deputizing roles in those committees. En tant uh, does that adjoint structure ou de remplaçant de ce supérieur uh, au sein align de ce comité with your um, knowledge of other communist parties? For example, que cela China cadre and avec la structure uh, qui existait dans d'autres partis communistes, par exemple, le Parti communiste um, chinois et russe. Blending parti que vous avez étudié. Different roles and, uh, and, uh, no clear distinction between, Cette absence we say, the de distinction branch and claire the executive entre branch, la branche législative et l'exécutive, sans parler what, what do you, um, have to de la branche judiciaire, est-ce que c'était une manière then? habituelle, à l'époque, de diriger un parti communiste Yes and no. No in the sense that the democratic Kampuchea regime, the CPK, was really sui generis. Le Kampuchea démocratique, le PCK, était original. Kind and unlike any others. Il se différenciait de tous les autres choses. Cela dit, tous les partis du système communiste ont un organe qui prend les décisions, le politburo ou le comité central. Mais en général, il y a une fraction du parti au sein du ministère. Et par cette fraction du parti, le comité central donne ses instructions au gouvernement. C'est un système qui permet au parti de communiquer ses ordres. It was not that systematized. Ce pas and aussi the systématique. blending of roles, particularly between Nguyen Chia and Pol Pot, I can think of no, no equivalent really Pot in Nguyen any Chia other communist party. Na, je pense, eu aucun dans Do un you autre think parti that communiste. this was the result of what Question. you described earlier today as the stage that the Communist Party of Kampuchea was at, that is the infant stage, uh, the unevolved stage? Or do you think it was deliberate, for example, le stade to cast, keep a veil over their activities? Parti, eh Is there any, uh, anything from your research that you can uh, assist me with there? D'après vos recherches, que pouvez-vous en dire? I think the first reason that it was uh, a communist party at a very early stage première raison, à savoir of its que development, une phase probably de was précoce. a factor. Cette raison a sûrement été un factor. I don't think it was deliberately, I don't think it was part of the secrecy element. Um, pense pas que ça a été délibéré, and I suspect que cela if, if the secret, communist party of Kampuchea had remained in power for longer, si then it would gradually have become more structured. Je pense uh, la there fois, there are certain structuré. signs, sorry, signs that that was happening. Signes. Um, qui vont dans ce sens. Beyond that, the, sorry, you, there was a third question which I Vous avez posé une troisième question, je l'ai oublié. Yeah. Uh, Nunchia has always denied having any 
a toujours uh, formal role in relation to the military uh, affairs of democratic Kampuchea. Uh, I, I just want to know what your view of that is. Uh, do you have any knowledge of his involvement, direct involvement in decisions relating to the military outside those standing committee minutes where military matters Apart were discussed? Les PV des réunions des comités permanents, du comité permanent où il était question de problèmes militaires, est-ce que vous avez des informations sur son implication, sur sa participation No, I don't. Réponse. Uh, non. He did, he did have some military decision making il uh, avait role un rôle much, much en matière de prise de décision militaire mais ça c'était bien plus tard au milieu des années 90 lorsque c'était des guérillas qui étaient en cours but in the period 1975 to 1979 no, entre 75 et 79 je ne pense pas que c'était le cas there is um, one um, question uh, report of a standing committee meeting il y a un rapport uh, sur convened on the 26th of march 1976 e3 stroke 218 which has the heading national defense uh, indicating defense nationale the um, subject matter of the meeting, and I have raised this previously with another uh, uh, expert. Uh, in that, um, uh, that expert, particular standing committee meeting was chaired by Nguyen Chia uh, as deputy secretary. There's no uh, confirmation that Pol Pot was there at all. And uh, there is a lengthy uh, report by Comrade Yar um, concerning Yaa military policy, sur um, la politique militaire, uh, mi the military situation vis-à-vis -vis Vietnam, uh, and towards Vietnam. the end, the opinions and instructions from Comrade fin, Deputy Secretary are uh, set out in, in reasonable detail. What, uh, how, do you, uh, how do you characterize that degree of involvement in discussion or direction with relation to military affairs? Comment qualifieriez-vous son degré de participation pour les questions militaires? Well, Comrade Ya was Ney Saran, who was a zone ya, leader, Ney Saran, um, un chef and therefore zone. not directly a military leader. So it was within the party that this discussion took place. Donc au sein du parti que la uh, not, a eu lieu. not from Nguyen Chia directly to military commanders. Pas directement entre Nguyen Chia et les commandants militaires. And I, 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 I missed the date, but if Pol Pot were not there, I date, would imagine si it's Pot because he was là, je out of the country. Et that he did make a number of, of unpublicized visits to China. Visites, uh, and uh, there was one in 76. If public, it was at that time, that would explain why Nguyen Chia si would be chairing the meeting. This was the 26th of March, 1976. C'était le 26 mars 76. Let me just look. I forgive me, but we could probably sort this out. Réponse. Voyons voir. No, I have no record record of a visit. No. Then I'm afraid. Je ne... Nguyen Chia himself, in Une his statement to the co-investigating judges. Uh, on the 19th of September 2007, E3-54 e described his role in uh, ici, uh, the décrit, uh, uh, Democratic Kampuchea post-1975 like this. As for myself, after the liberation, moi, la I was in the legislative body, je so I was not involved with the executive. Je ne Besides the party, there was a military committee of the party whose chairman was Pol Pot with Son Sen and Ta Mok as deputies and Sao Pim and K 
part as members. En étant membre. So I was not in the military Moi, commission. Je pas au I was deputy secretary of the party du parti and president et of the assembly. De Besides that, à part cela, I was in charge of education cadre de and cadre fam, uh, party members. Et des du parti. So I was not involved en in anything relating to these charges. These are the charges that the co-investigating judge had just uh, announced to him. At that time, the military were the strongest group because they were the ones who defeated Lon Nho. As for the politicians, they were not strong. They received less esteem. Fort, Do you think that that is a fair uh, là summary of his influence within the Democratic Kampuchean regime, namely that his influence was dit, less than those who had direct involvement with military um, uh, orders and organizations? No, I think that is not true. It's, um, je pense que ce pas vrai. it's a mixture of, of elements which are undoubtedly true. Uh, he was not part of the military committee. Comité militaire, and vrai. extrapolations which Il y a aussi des I certainly would not agree with. Um, je ne pas. To, to pretend that the military had power Prétendre in the democratic Cambodia and that the Kampuchea politicians, in other words, the party leaders, dit, les not, du parti is pas. to turn truth on its head. Uh, the, the party needed the support of the military, but as I think you read out in, in one of the documents we just heard, the army was absolutely subordinated to the party. Complètement subordonné uh, au parti. And it was the party which took the decisions which the military implemented. Que um, les it en relied there was a disconnect in the sense that the, the military leaders, the main military leaders like Tamok and Taipok, had come up from the Isarak tradition, whereas uh, the party leadership uh, was from Paris, the former students, and in the case of Nguyen Chia, from Thailand. So there were different groups which Pol Pot tried to bring together and reconcile. The final word Mais was with le the party. Mot appartenait au parti. Uh, this isn't a very critical point, but um, Question. Ce pas un point speaking before the trial chamber Mais some months ago now, Nguyen Chia demurred when it, suggested, it was suggested to him that he was called brother number two during this regime. Um, is that a title that's been uh, developed Que cette Since the regime après la fin du was uh, pushed out of uh, Phnom Penh, or was it something that was current during the regime? À du régime même? Both Réponse. Pol Pot and Nguyen Chia were Pot called Om, Nguyen Chia était appelé Grand Uncle. Om. Um, Soit Pol Pot was also known as Pol Pot uh, first brother, aussi Bang Timoy, appelé Bang Timoy. Bang Timoy, and uh, numéro un. Nguyen Chia, yes, was, was second Nguyen brother, and oui, Ying Siri was third deux. brother, Yang but Sari, le frère the, numéro the, the use of brother number one, brother number Mais two, uh, frère numéro with respect un, to my colleagues who've numéro used numéro it, uh, I, I think is wrong. Um, it gives an Orwellian overtone which did not exist at the time. And every family in Vietnam, in China, has a first, second, third, fourth, fifth brother. Uh, that's, that's the way your family members are known. So it was, it was in no sense menacing. It was just how they were described. I, I want to finish my questioning of you with a, a Question. discussion of a topic that you Pour touch on terminer, uh, from time to time through your book, uh, which does not focus specifically on Nguyen Chia or Kyo Son Pong, but on the regime itself. Nguyen and that's the question of secrecy um, as used secret. in the regime. Um, before April 1975, 
you speak at page 162 of the cha change of name from the Workers' Party to the Communist Party of Kampuchea in 1966, and you said it was kept secret from the party rank and file and from the Vietnamese. Uh, some of the comments you've made this morning and this afternoon about um, keeping matters confidential from the Vietnamese may apply here, but what about the party rank and file? Um, are you able to say your source for that uh, and also why the change of name would be kept secret? Le changement de nom a-t-il été gardé secret? The change of name was kept, kept secret Réponse. essentially le from the Vietnamese, and the party rank and file were not told because if the party rank and file had known, then it would have si leaked out su, to Hanoi. Suites, and the reason was that Hanoi. the Vietnamese have a en Vietnamese effet, workers' party, and if the uh, Un parti vietnamien des travailleurs, et si les Cambodgiens avaient un parti communiste cambodgien, la hiérarchie, cela aurait donné à penser que les Cambodgiens avaient dépassé le Vietnam. Et il ne voulait pas donner cette impression-là parce qu'il s'appuyait encore sur les Vietnamiens. Pour ce qui est du secret, cela a été un aspect propre aux dirigeants communistes cambodgiens. En 1978, il y a une interview de Malik Zekstrand, Nguyen Chien, avant de nous avoir dit très convaincant à la délégation du parti communiste danois. Il dit que le secret, c'est la clé de tout. Partly explained. Uh, I mean, there are many aspects. I remember Mr. Q. Sompong when, when we talked, aspects. saying uh, uh, you, you, can't, you can't tell Cambodians anything. They can't keep a secret for one minute. Que les so there is an attitude. Un Mr. Q. Sompong was donc, not alone in that view. Dire. There is an attitude that unless things are kept secret, si uh, they will pas le secret, leak immediately. Y aura une suite In the 1960s, Dans les années uh, 60, Sihanouk's police force, Prince Sihanouk's police force, was la police de Sihanouk very strong, very numerous, était very très determined to très uh, et très root out communist influence. Again, communiste. clandestinity was essential. Nouveau, and you go back still further, under si the French, when loin, the Isarac were active, Français, the les same, uh, uh, not, not, uh, the, the, the same obsession with secrecy Cette même obsession occurred. Du so uh, the existé. regime throughout was characterized Donc, by secrecy. Ensemble, and I think it has as much to do with Khmer culture as with uh, objective tout practical conditions. Des conditions pratiques et objectives. Uh, in this period before Question 1975, you describe Nguyen work in Phnom Penh as his secret work, that's at page 183 of your book, and Phnom you describe him uh, 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 as he was in 1968 in these terms, Nguyen the opaque master of the underground, undetected by authorities, continued to devote himself to what was now his main task, using his cover as a commercial traveller to send rifles, grenades and ammunition to the rebels in the bush. Uh, you also speak of how Nguyen Chia managed to remain in Phnom Penh for some time after other uh, notable figures had fled to the jungle, and that was in spite of um, crackdowns, uh, he, he remained undetected. Is this, um, again, part of the secrecy that would surround a clandestine or illegal organization which is trying to take power, or with some other reasons other than those you've already touched on? Que celle que vous avez déjà évoqué. I think I think Nguyen Chia was simply very good at it. Um, he le managed to bien. remain undetected Il where others decided it had become too dangerous and they should go to the bush. Uh, the, the, the 
No, it's part of the general of the general Cela plan, of, of, of modus operandi in clandestinity. But it also suggests that uh, Nuenchia was um, durant la clandestinité en, en général. He could en outre, live under considerable stress. Ne se laissait pas facilement déstabiliser. Il soutenait la pression de façon plus efficace, peut-être. Uh, in the same period, uh, uh, another reference to secrecy. You speak of the secret Toujours par rapport au secret, of the vous parlez des bureaux secrets du PCK um, durant la même and, période. Uh, you mention uh, another more secret office known as L71, headed by Son Sen's L71, wife Yun Yat, produced the party's internal Sen. monthly Vous journal Revolutionary Flags, which appeared in two versions, one with five flags on the cover, destined for senior cadre, and the other with a single flag for the party rank and file. So this again, I infer, is um, a part of the development of, a, of an illegal organization and the extension of its influence illegal. to the pa party rank and file as well as a method of communication with the more significant figures pre-1975. Is that a fair inference? Yes, L71 was near Compongtom oui, in the early 70s. Uh, uh, and again, knowledge is power. So it's le quite parsimoniously distributed to those who need or can be trusted uh, with different degrees of, of knowledge. Ce type à des degrés distincts. After liberation, as you've Question. already indicated, this, um, this secrecy dit, continued, and you referred to uh, E3 stroke 196, the statement of the Vous Communist Party of Kampuchea to the Communist Workers Party of Denmark in July of 1978, a speech given by Nguyen Chia as uh, de de Deputy Secretary. De uh, and in that, uh, he speaks about Ici, secrecy after liberation, and he says, since liberation, we continue secret work because we consider the strategic line to be more important than tactics. We have published the names of only a few of our cadre and members. Not many need to be public. During the war, all of them were secret. Uh, and he goes on to say that uh, they learned to do this from the experiences of the Communist Party in Kampuchea, and also gives examples of the way they operated signals and flags and pictures and so on. Um, so why, after liberation, was it so important to keep the names of the um, significant people in the party or indeed other members of the CPK so secret? Well, you are touching on a, a subject which, which is not limited to this, um, and uh, at, at the risk of using a shorthand term, uh, one would have to say paranoia. Au risque de prendre raccourci, il faudrait employer le terme de Cambodia paranoïa. Squeezed between big Thailand Il y a l'aspect géographique, le Cambodge uh, est coincé entre la Grande Thaïlande et le Grand Vietnam. Il y a une certaine paranoïa par rapport aux um, ennemis infiltrés dans le parti. I can only call it paranoia. Je ne peux employer que ce terme de paranoïa. Celle-ci a pris différentes formes sous le régime du PCK. Je pense que c'est simplement une one aspect of it, put in a particularly dramatic way by uh, Nguyen Chia to a fo friendly foreign Communist Et Party delegation. Nguyen Chia well, Mr. Short uh, and President, that amicale. was the extent of the questioning, that, uh, the examination that I wished to uh, make. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Short. Terminé. I think you will find there Merci are quite a few more questions Monsieur because Short. mine have been fairly narrow in scope. Thank you. The President, I hand over to Judge uh, Zong Mark Lawange. You may proceed, Judge. La parole est au juge Laverne. Oui. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur l'expert. Thank Monsieur you, Short. Mr. President. J'aurais un certain nombre de questions à vous poser pour compléter 
a certain uh, number of questions to put to you to add to what posé par ma collègue. we have already heard uh, so far. So far. Une question to begin with, une des sources sur lesquelles like vous êtes appuyé pour rédiger votre livre Pol Pot, Anatomie d'un cauchemar. Je euh, trouve que vous avez euh, fait référence dans votre livre à euh, un document book, qui est présenté comme étant écrit par M. In Sofip. In Sofip. Peut-être que mon, mon Khmer, mon prononciation n'est pas bonne du tout. J'espère que vous m'avez compris. Ce document s'appelle euh, « Que s'en pan agrandi et réel » et euh, il s'agit d'un euh, note dactylographiée qui a priori n'ont pas été publiées. Ce qui pose so un certain nombre de problèmes. Euh, il se trouve que euh, ce document est susceptible d'être parmi les documents document que détient le DCCAM. Maybe et euh, j'en ai euh, obtenu une copie et je voudrais savoir si vous, vous auriez la possibilité, en regardant ce document, de l'authentifier comme étant celui qui vous a servi document, pour euh, écrire votre livre celui in fact used et que, auquel in vous référez book, dans, comme étant l'une de vos sources. As one of your sources. Yes. Um, sorry, I was fiddling with this. Oui. If, if I'm shown it, euh, I probably can identify si it. Si on me le montre, je pense pouvoir l'identifier. Bien, donc je demanderai au greffier de, de faire en sorte In que ce case, document I'll vous soit remis pendant la, la suspension pour que vous puissiez éventuellement y jeter un coup d'œil. When we have the coffee voilà. break, and that way you'll have Et a look at it. Le cas échéant, évidemment, si le, le témoin l'authentifie, ce document sera ensuite mis à la disposition des parties. If the witness Je voudrais maintenant que l'on revienne un petit peu. J'aurais d'autres questions sur les, sur les sources, mais je voudrais qu'on revienne sur un, un premier point sources, qui concerne euh, that, le lien susceptible like d'exister entre les mouvements de population et euh, la mise en place d'une politique de collectivisation forcée par le développement de coopératives d'un niveau de plus en plus élevé. Est-ce que vous pourriez tout d'abord nous dire si, avant l'évacuation de Pompen, il y a eu, de la part des dirigeants euh, Khmer Rouge, la mise en œuvre d'une politique de déplacement de population. Est-ce qu'il y a eu des, plusieurs pratiques et dans quel contexte ces pratiques se sont développées In what sort of context did those practices develop? Yes, uh, it did start earlier. It started uh, with uh, the. Début de réponse inaudible. Ah, she can't. The translator can't hear. Uh, si je parle en français, est-ce que ça va mieux? Non. Non, je, je me permets de vous interrompre. Il est important que vous puissiez garder toujours Judge la même Lavelle. langue, parce que sinon, no, après, il y a des, des, des trop de difficultés dans les cabines d'interprétation. Mais euh, je crois qu'on n'a pas, dans la cabine française, en tous les cas, nous n'avons pas entendu system, votre, euh, le début de votre intervention. Donc, si vous pouviez répéter votre, votre réponse, je pense que ce serait très utile. Merci. I apologize. Uh, I, I understand. Excusez-moi, j'ai bien compris. Um, no, I was saying that, uh, disais, yes, there were oui, movements of population uh, il earlier. Y avait des déplacements de population. I think the, the, the first ones uh, started, the first ones we really know of, started in 1973. Then uh, there was the movement of population out of Kratje and from Udon uh, in 1974. Uh, there were movements of population uh, along the Vietnamese border, regrouping into, uh, in, into collectives. So it didn't start in 1975. Uh, it, it did start earlier, but it was usually on a small scale 
uh, and in, in many cases for practical reasons in the countryside, uh, whereas in 1975 it became an ideological uh, movement. Un movement un Je, ce que je me propose de faire, c'est de relire, ou de lire plutôt une partie de votre euh, livre, et euh, pour voir si vous êtes toujours d'accord avec ce que vous avez écrit. C'est à l'ERN en français, 00 63 97 73 à 74, et en anglais, 00 39 64 46 à 47. Et vous dites ceci. Sous prétexte d'éviter les bombardements, des villages, en, des villages tout entiers furent déplacés, évacués et transférés ailleurs. Des mouvements de population sur une plus petite échelle avaient déjà eu lieu en 1972 et même au Ratanakiri dès 1968. Mais il s'agissait en l'occurrence de faire échapper des gens au contrôle gouvernemental en les transférant plus loin à l'intérieur des zones libérées. Cette fois, alors si on relie dans le contexte, on voit que vous faites référence à l'année 1973, cette fois, ils furent envoyés, ils furent envoyés plus loin à l'intérieur, pardon, ils furent envoyés au loin vers des régions de montagne et de jungle. S'ils n'étaient pas détruits, leurs foyers furent brûlés pour empêcher tout retour. Au lieu de travailler individuellement ou en petites équipes d'assistance mutuelle, ils furent contraints de se regrouper en coopératives de 30 à 40 familles qui cultivaient la terre en commun. Là encore, ces mesures n'étaient pas sans précédent. Dans le sud-ouest et dans la zone spéciale, on avait tenté d'introduire des coopératives après la réunion du comité central de mai 1972. Mais devant leur impopularité, les autorités n'avaient pas insisté. Cette fois, la collectivisation fut imposée de force dans toutes les zones libérées, zones libérées entre guillemets. Voilà. Est-ce que c'est un premier extrait que je veux lire Est-ce que euh, vous êtes toujours d'accord avec ce que vous avez écrit dans, dans votre livre Est-ce que vous pouvez éventuellement expliquer un petit peu pourquoi euh, vous euh, dites cela Yes, I certainly agree with what I wrote. Oui, um, tout à fait. Je suis but I think you, there is a distinction uh, between y a collectivization entre la and population movements. Um, collectivization could occur la without a village being moved. Peut se faire sans uh, when un village. villages were burnt down Lorsque and the population moved elsewhere, it was usually for practical reasons. Déplacée, practical reasons in the CPK context at that time, uh, being, PCK, as, uh, sorry, as the extract says, um, for control. Étant, comme il est ici, We uh, later, uh, uh, with the evacuation of Batambong and Phnom Penh after April 1975, it's really a different exercise. It's it's not about regrouping villages to collectivize them, whether on the spot or elsewhere. It's about emptying the towns. J'aurais une question. Est-ce que lorsqu'une population est déplacée, que ce soit avant 1975 ou bien sûr après 1975, ce n'est pas aussi pour 
faciliter well l'instauration de, de coopératives. Vous dites qu'il n'est pas nécessaire de déplacer un village pour le transformer en une coopérative. Mais quand les gens But sont déplacés, est-ce qu'il y a d'autres options que de les mettre en coopérative But it wasn't always necessary to displace people Mais in order to create cooperatives. My understanding is that many, the, the majority of cooperatives, were based on the villages which were already existing. There were areas, particularly along the Vietnamese border, where villages were destroyed and people were moved up into more remote areas. But there were many areas the majority where the cooperatives were created on the basis of existing villages. You mentioned the Ratanakiri um, uh, movements of population. Again, they, they, they were for very practical reasons uh, to uh, take uh, supporters of the, what was then a, a nascent guerrilla campaign against the government into safer areas uh, which could be more easily defended. Campagne, uh, so, de lutte contre le again, practical reasons. I, I think these were two different things, collectivization uh, and population Alors, movements. I think there are two different things, collectivization and the displacement of population. I think we will come back a little bit later on this question. I think we can come back to this issue at a later stage. This may be a good moment to have a break, Mr. President. The time is now appropriate for a short break. We shall take a break until 3 p.m. when we return. Court officer, could you assist the expert during the break and have him return to the court room? Uh, Sub-culture.